now you've known uh, how does the hydrolysis of acetylcholine uh, takes place. So we're going to have a look at how can a, this knowledge of um, cholinesterase, um, the acetylcholine uh, hydrolysis, can inform us about the design of physostigmine, uh, design of anticholinesterase inhibitors. So physostigmine is actually uh, isolated from calabar kind of beans. Um, they are quite poisonous in a sense. Okay, uh, when they manage to elucidate the structure, what they found is that um, they found is a three-ring structure. Okay, and it's got a urethane or carbamate uh, tail at one end. Yeah, and the other side is a pyridine uh, nitrogen. The pyridine nitrogen, um, what it does is that um, the design of this uh, physosamine is very, very important because the tertiary amine will, uh, can, can, can cross the BBB easily so, um, compared to the quaternary amine. So in that sense, yeah, um, pyridine can easily cross the BBB, BBB compared to uh, later we see uh, the design of the um, compounds inspired by uh, uh, pyridostigmine, they are not as they are not as um, uh, as good, yeah, uh, as uh, uh, friendly to the BBB. Yeah? So um, if you see here, the carbamate is essential; it's very essential to and crucial to activity. You see later, the benzene ring is important because if you remember, the sites of the act, the, the sites of the active site are quite hydrophobic. Now, let's go to uh, the key events in the physostigmine uh, inhibition of acetylcholinesterase. Yeah? So the first thing you have to know, it proceeds as normal, uh, as normal in the acetylcholine hydrolysis. Okay? So um, first, serine having a nucleophilic, um, um, nucleophilic uh, lone pair on the oxygen will attack the carbonyl uh, group okay? uh, here. And then what happens is that the carbonyl group will open. All right? So then what happens is that um, the, uh, it will proceed to the, to the next stage uh, whereby the histidine, this histidine amino acid, will start to act as a basic catalyst. So histidine will act as a basic catalyst picks up the proton from this part of the molecule. And then, um, next stage, what you see is that because of that, yeah, now you've got um, open up the carbonyl, the carbonyl needs to go back, resume its uh, form again. So at the same time, this lone pair will pick up a hydrogen from histidine. Yeah? Um, in this, in this stage, at this stage, histidine works as a acidic catalyst. And then what happens is that, um, if you see here, um, the, the um, carbonyl resume, it resume uh, back as a carbonyl, yeah? and the, this aromatic uh, part of the molecule will start to leave as phenol. When this is removed as phenol, if you remember in the acetylcholine hydrolysis, water starts to enter. So after stage four, yeah, when water starts to enter, um, this becomes the rate determining step. Yeah? Water enters and it wanted to actually act as a nucleophile, but it couldn't. Yeah? Uh, it couldn't attack the carbonyl intermediate at all. It couldn't simply because the carbonyl intermediate is quite stable. Therefore, the hydrolysis of this particular intermediate is very, very slow. It's a million times slower than acetylcholine hydrolysis. So in, as a result, as a result um, this active site is blocked by phytostimine. Yeah? So the activity is similar. You remember carbacol, when you have the uh, this uh, urethane, uh, the urethane uh, part of, on the molecule, on acetyl acetylcholine, a modified acetylcholine, 
what happens is that the lone pair of the nitrogen will start to you know, uh, uh, form resonance structure. And that formation of resonance structure will stabilize the carbamyl enzyme intermediate. Therefore, if there is any nucleophile, really, yeah, especially like water, it can't really attack this intermediate. It will just stuck there. All right. So, physostigmine, uh, it's, it's, it has found um, clinical usefulness as, uh, in the treatment of glaucoma and atropine poisoning, and also in myasthenia gravis. Yeah? Um, so, neostigmine and predostigmine, if you see, the difference would be the uh, nitrogen is already uh, ionized. Is already in as a positively charged nitrogen, so that makes a big difference. But I urge you to read further, um, to read it, to read about new statement and periodic statement in Patrick.